everybody and welcome here to a quick video on how to um, get Inner 2003. Um, this is a, going to be a really quick video and it it's going to be very easy tutorial. I mean, uh, most of the videos that I saw when I first started getting into this, um, they weren't very, very good. Um, they were just too complicated for me. Um, I somehow got them done anyways, but... Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need a program called WinRAR. Um, you're going to probably need that probably before now. Actually, you don't need it. What am I thinking? You don't need WinRAR, but it'd be good to have it. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is there's going to be a link that I'm going to provide in the description, and it will let you download this thing. Uh, enter 2003 full game dot zip and uh, when you open it it should open up this um, the link will be in the description um, it will be a file front download I can actually just show you really quickly uh, if I go to Google um, there the link will be provided in the description um let's see It'll be file front somewhere. If I can find it. I'll be right back when I find it. Okay, and I'm back. Um, it was actually game front, not file front. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, here we go. This link will be provided in the description, so you don't have to worry about Googling anything. Um, in here, you will have to answer a quick survey, but it's not one of those surveys... Um, not one of those surveys like, like, you know, how you have to, uh, like, provide credit card information or whatever. You just, like, check one of these, you know, and then hit submit. And then it'll ask you to download, and then you'll download it. So, um, once that downloads, it should be in here, something like this. And the first thing you're going to want to do is double-click the setup.exe. Um, it should be near the very bottom, you know, if you sort it by name. So just double click this. It might not be in a WinRAR thing if you don't have WinRAR, but if you just have, if you don't have WinRAR, then don't worry about it. It'll still be in there. In whatever folder that it gives you. <laughs> Should also work in 7-zip. Now, once this extracts, I will open it back up. Or I'll be back when the thing pops up. And welcome back. It should bring up this when it first starts. Um, it'll bring up the install shield wizard. And it'll ask you this. <laughs> and I'd suggest um, you turn down your sound before. Because that is quite loud. Um, when this comes up, did you hear the sound file? Hit yes, even if you didn't hear it. Um, then it'll bring up this. Just hit next on the first one. Hit yes on the second one. Um, leave this the same, but since I already have it installed, I'm going to have to put it in a different folder, so ignore this part, um, just leave it where it is, just hit next, but I'll just put this on my desktop, might as well. Um, it'll ask you for a CD key, now this CD key works for everything, it's RAB2, 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 RAB2. 8869 in the enter CD key. You're going to hit next and then just hit next on this no matter where it is. Um, then this thing you will extract and everything. Just going to let this do its thing. And once it's done, I'll be back. And welcome back here. Um, this is just about done. But just don't touch anything when this thing goes. It's going to do this. Just hit OK. Then next again. Um, this you can hit yes or no to. It doesn't matter. But I already have it, so I'm going to hit no. Um, hit register later. Hit no. And then uncheck both of the boxes. It might ask you to uh, 
reinstall your or restart your computer, but but you obviously don't have to do that. Or I mean, you probably should, but you might want to wait. I'm gonna. It kind of just did this, so I'm gonna kind of delete all these. Yeah, that that did a thing. It shouldn't do this for you. It should all install into your um, C slash Papyrus slash Inter 2003 or NASCAR Racing 2003 season. But mine just did it to the desktop because that's what I put it at. Let's recycle these. You obviously won't have to do this, but you know, I have to. So, um, now once you've installed that, gonna go into your second thing that you've downloaded which another link will be just uh, provided in the description this one will be the update inner 2003 update um, right here um, just gonna hit run it's going to bring up this just hit next I agree next 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 and now what you're going to want to do here is just keep hitting next until uh, it brings up the screen thing. I obviously had to uh, delete everything because it randomly went to my desktop, but you won't have to do this. Just leave everything the same, just keep hitting next, and at some point it should um, should start the thing. And just that's pretty self-explanatory. You shouldn't have to do anything. I can actually try and see if I can do it to mine really quick. Oh, whoops. You shouldn't have to do all this. It should just automatically be on its place. Just gonna hit next. Gonna hit next again. And let this all do its thing. Don't don't mess with any of this. Um that's gonna not respond because, you know. Um, but don't worry about this. Just keep hitting next until it finishes. Um, next thing that you're going to want to do is open up the no CD, the third thing that you download. Now in here you should have two folders and it's going to be the crack. Don't worry about the original. This doesn't matter. Nothing needs to do with anything there. So just double click the crack and here you should see Android 2003. So what you're going to want to do is hit start computer. You're going to hit the C then Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 season, and in here you should have a Enter 2003. Um, now what you're going to want to do is just drag this in here. Once it drags in there, you're going to hit Move and Replace. So there you go. Now you have Enter 2003. Um, what you're going to want to do is restart your computer, and then one last thing that you're going to do is you're going to have to disable DEP. This allows you to get on track. If you have Windows XP, you don't have to do this, but if you have Vista or Up, then you're going to have to do this. I'm going to type this in here and find this. Alright, here we go. Here it is. Um, you're going to hit the start button and type CMD. This should bring up your command prompt right here, CMD. And what you're going to want to do is type this exact command here. Um, you can either copy paste it or type it manually. Sometimes you might need to just type it manually because it won't copy paste. I'll see if mine copy paste. Nope, it didn't. So. I'm going to type it. It would be bcd edit uh, dot exe space slash set space uh, bracket current closing bracket space capital A always capital O off. And then you're just going to hit enter there. And it should bring up just a bunch of thingies. And you, you're you going to have to restart your computer. 
and once you restart your computer, you should be able to open up Inner 2003. Um, should be this one. Just open up Inner 2003. Um, it'll actually open up the config thing. It'll open up this, and it'll ask you some questions. Um, the first one should be Direct X. Make sure it's Direct X. Um, uh, digital display adapter. This will be your graphics card, so don't mess with this. Um, graphics mode. For me, it runs most smoothly in a window. I have mine at 1280x768x32, x but this all depends on what you want. You can set this to anything. Um, but I'd suggest running it in a window because that's what it runs most smoothly in. You're going to hit finish, and it should open up Inner 2003, and you're done. You should be able to drive and race and have fun. So, thank you all for watching um, this really quick tutorial. Hopefully it's easier than most of the tutorials that I've seen on YouTube at least because most of the ones that I watched when I first started were very complicated and I couldn't figure it out. So, that should should work for you guys. And um, if you have any questions, just ask me. I will get to as many as possible. And I'll see y'all later, so bye.